The evidence keeps growing. Even here in Kyiv, far from the front, memorials occupy ever more space. And since Ukraine's incursion into Russia's cursed region, the war has returned to the cities with a vengeance. Last night, ballistic missiles hit Kyiv, destroying infrastructure, tripling the energy grid, raising fears. Ukrainian journalist Natalia Gumenyuk tells me it's been a trade-off as the Russians step up their assault on the critical logistics hub of Pokrovsk. It, th there is no discussion whether the Kursk was right, but the question is how much we lose in Pokrovsk, in the Donbas. It boosted the morale among the military. It showed that, uh, you know, Ukraine can do something. Just outside Kyiv, there's an urgent race against time in this factory that's building unmanned vehicles or land drones because aerial drones make the front lines ever more dangerous for soldiers on both sides. He is CEO and former Special Forces officer Alexander Biletsky. That's why we should have technologies to kill more Russians with, with the purpose in the using the new technologies, like using drones, using robots. That's it. And these all-terrain, all-weather drones are meant to save more Ukrainians. On the front, they can be controlled from as far as three kilometers away. Here, we follow along behind. They can deliver everything from ammunition to water and also remove the wounded from the front lines. Their production has ramped up since the full-scale invasion of 2022, and the company insists Ukraine must develop more technologically advanced systems for asymmetrical warfare to counter Russia's overwhelming manpower and they want to be much more self-sufficient for the long haul. 30 months into this grinding conflict, with the prospect of international support fading, are Ukrainians now ready to negotiate an end to it all? So for us, it's unfortunately that existential. Sounds very big, but it is. It's really a matter of survival. We can't allow them to control our territory. And what they suggest is unconditional uh, capitulation, surrender, yeah. unconditional surrender or occupation. And here Natalia quotes her friend and Ukraine's Nobel laureate, who warns that occupation is not peace, it's just a different way of war. Christiana Manpour, CNN, Kyiv.